Hello friends, I'm back again with another story. Um, this one is about a puppy called Fudge. But before we start, let's start with our song that we always sing in the monkey class before when we're getting ready for a story. I have ten little fingers. Can you get your fingers ready? Here we go. I have ten little fingers and they all belong to me. I can make them do things would you like to see. I can shut them up tight, open them wide, put them all together and make them all hide. I can make them jump high. I can make them jump low. I can fold them quietly and hold them all just so. And that was ready for our story. And our story today is called The Trouble with Fudge. The author is Jean Richardson, so she wrote the words. And the illustrator is Caroline Church. She did the illustrations, that's the pictures. Not a dog, Mom said, as though Kate had, had suggested keeping a crocodile in the bath. Not a dog, Dad echoed, as though Will wanted to tether an elephant in the garden. It wasn't fair. All their friends had dogs. Last year it was bikes. This year it was dogs. A few days later, Katie crawled into the tent that Will had put up in the garden. She was in such a hurry she forgot to give the password. Ooh, it does say. Use the password. Guess what? We're going to have a dog to stay. It's called Fudge and it belongs to Mum's friend Sue who's going on holiday. Mum says that she must be mad but that she's agreed as it's only for a couple of weeks. Will's glasses steamed up with excitement. Fudge was excited too. He bounded out of Sue's car and dashed up the path. He was pleased to see Mum. He was pleased to see Dad. He was pleased to see Katie and he was pleased to see Will. He bounced up and down giving them all joyous licks. His tongue grazed like sandpaper. Strands of dri dribble glittered in his jaws. Katie didn't like dribble and she was secretly a little afraid of Fudge's large teeth. Ooh, can you see him licking and drooling right there? Fudge liked to walk in the morning. Fudge wanted a walk in the afternoon and Fudge demanded a walk at night. Oh, he looks like he's moving fast, isn't he? Keeping them busy. He walked three times as far as anyone else because he ran ahead, came back to report, and then rushed off again to deal with what he'd found. He chased anything that moved from windswept litter to wary cats. Katie and Will had never walked so far or felt so tired. They're looking a bit worn out there. Fudge! like dolls, paints, tents, spacemen, models of any kind. He liked licking them, chewing them, jumping on them, and burying them. Uh-oh. He liked to watch Katie painting. When she'd finished, he showed how much he liked her picture by sitting on it. Please, budge, fudge, Katie wailed imploringly, but fudge never budged to order, especially when he was watching television. Every morning, Fudge heard the gate click before anyone else. He rushed to the front door. He barked at the mailman and the paper boy. Fudge knew how to deal with paper. He shredded letters, circulars, newspapers, even Will's homework that had taken him an hour to do. Didn't you want to, to be... I didn't want you to be bothered, he, his eyes said. I thought I was helping. Here he is, sitting in the corner. I wonder, do you think everybody was happy that he shredded all the paper that came in the house? <laughs> Fudge.
Judge introduced himself to the greengrocer, the butcher, as he's in the paper shop, and the woman opposite who was afraid of dogs. He hated the supermarket. That's an English word for the grocery store. Because he had to wait outside. Katie and Will could hear him telling everyone, They've left me. They don't love me anymore. Through Fudge, the family got to know all the neighbourhood dogs. One of them even invited Fudge to tea. And he said they could also bring Katie and Will along too. Ooh, that looks quite tasty, doesn't it? It's all the cakes they're eating. It felt like months before Sue came to take Fudge home. After he'd gone, Dad vacuumed dog hairs off the carpet and he found a smelly bone and a missing shoe under the sofa. Will felt it was safe to put up the tent again in the garden. They wouldn't have admitted it to Mom and Dad, but as they sat inside when no one could hear, Katie and Will agreed that they didn't want a dog after all. On Sunday, Will stayed in bed reading the comics and Katie did a painting. It was lovely not having to take Fudge out for a walk. I thought we might pop over to the dog home. Later on, Mum called up the stairs. I've been reading about all the lost and abandoned dogs who want good homes. With luck, we might find one just like Fudge. <gasps> not a dog, said Katie and Will in dismay. Well, they do look worried, don't they? I know I didn't want a dog, Mum said over lunch, surprised when Will refused another roast potato. But Fudge was so sociable. I've met lots of new people in the last few days, and I used to think that this was such an unfriendly place. Well, I certainly didn't want a dog, said Dad. But Fudge made me realise how lazy we've become, all that lying around in front of the TV. Fudge made us take more exercise. We must have walked miles. You tell them, Kate said, as she and Will sat in their secret place at the bottom of the garden. Tell them we don't like the dribble and the smell and being licked. You tell them, countered Will. Make them see that we're too busy to keep going for walks and we're fed up with having our things messed about. They were so gloomy that at first they didn't hear Mrs. Smith from next door. Uh, my cats had kittens, she called. I wondered if you'd like to see them. They're very tiny and rather fun. But I thought you wanted a dog, Mum said when Katie and Will showed her the kitten. We're going to call him Toffee, Katie said. Mrs. Smith says we can have him when he's old enough to leave his mother and he won't be any trouble. He certainly is very sweet, Mom said, stroking Toffee gently. But are you sure you don't want a dog? Katie and Will were very sure. Oh no, look what's happening. Oh, Toffee's getting chased by Fudge. So there he is again, he's been... Mm -hmm. Katie and Will changed their minds, didn't they, when they realised just how much work, hard work it is having a, a dog. You have to look after your pets, right? So he needed lots of walks, and he liked to play with their toys. So he, he was quite hard work, but lots of fun. In the end, they got a kitty, kitty cat, Toffee. Do you think Toffee will be easier to look after than a dog? I wonder. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story, friends, and I'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.